Well, after a three goal week, Xavier's Shelby Salee earned Big East Offensive Player of the Week. And we are so excited to have her joined with us now on the Big East Exchange. Shelby, you have a lot of offense in your back pocket, especially from years past. But this year, early on, to receive this honor and be really feeling yourself early, how has that been for you? It's just been great. I mean, I suffered an injury. I tore my Achilles last year, so I didn't get to play for a long time. And, you know, getting back into it has been tough. But to finally, you know, get a little something into the game, you know, starting to get used to it. And then, of course, my team has been so supportive. And they're the reason I got those goals, too. So it's just been great. Could you describe for us a little bit of, of the team dynamics? What is Xavier women's soccer like this season? I think it's a great environment. I think everyone is really trying to push each other to the edge because we want to be as good as we can be. But I think everyone's really close to each other and everyone enjoys each other's company. So I think that framework is what makes us a great team as well, because we all have each other's back on the field and we want to work for each other. Mm -hmm. Now, you mentioned it personally with yourself suffering injury. However, your freshman season, you were a big component to that team, a team that went pretty far winning a Big East championship and having so much success. How did success so early on in your career really help you now coming back from injury and as an upperclassman now? I think... My freshman year, Xavier was also beginning to be a very competitive team. Mm. So I think I had a lot of seniors that helped me, you know, reach that level level of competition. Mm. So coming in my junior year, I already knew like what the level was going to be at. Mm. So it wasn't as hard to adjust, but I think it really prepped me for, you know, um, being ready to begin playing again. Mm -hmm. How about now as an upperclassman? How are you taking on a little bit of that leadership role and with some of the younger players who are coming in acting like that similar role model and someone for, for them to learn from on the team? Yeah, I think I've learned from the past that creating a good team environment begins with trust mm -hmm. and creating those relationships first. So I think as a team and personally, we just have been creating relationships with one another. Mm -hmm. And so then on the field, we can talk to each other about, you know, bring each other up. And if like something wrong is happening, we can come to each other and talk about it. So I think just those relationships on a personal level that I've created and that people on the team have created has just helped us like go on. Mm -hmm. Now, looking at the, the season ahead tonight, actually, your team has a game 8 p.m. Eastern time on ESPN+. Plus. You're down in Texas wrapping up the reg the um, non-conference, excuse me, schedule with a trip, a game against Lamar. What is your team looking forward to uh, going up against Lamar and then honestly wrapping up this non-conference and getting Big East play underway? I think we're all really excited. I mean, this is going to be our longest trip of the year because we're playing Lamar and then we're playing Rice too. Mm -hmm. So two games in Texas, it's going to be different environment, you know, different weather, but I think we're all just excited to, you know, go at teams. I think that's what Nate likes to do the most is just put all of our Xavier values and our core of our team onto the field every game. So I think we're excited to like show a team that we might necessarily have ever been against, like what we are and, you know, go out there and try to win. <laughs> yeah. What are some of those Xavier values? Um, I would say our Xavier values is our effort and our press and our heart. So we mostly talk about, we have the saying of brave and sharp and we over me. So putting the team over yourself in instances on the field or off the field, being able to make those sacrifices. So I think on the field, you'll mostly see us like making those winning plays and diving on defense and just putting in extra effort. So that's what you'll probably see like against Lamar. Let's get to know your team a little bit more. Who's maybe staying on that topic a little bit. Who's maybe the most gutsy on the team. Oh, okay. <laughs> Um, I think 
our center defenders mm. are really good at it. Maddie Reed and Nat Bain. They're always running through people and, you know, they always get those chances too also on defense. But also I would have to shout out Sonia at forward. I think she's really good at like putting pressure on the outside backs and making them lose control of the ball and then going right back at them. Yeah, I love that. On the topic of travel, because I feel like everyone is getting delayed or canceled these days with flights. Who on your team, if you guys are going to get delayed at the airport and everyone's kind of sitting around, is going to be the the person who gets everyone pepped up, right? Might think of some game to play or just keeps the morale high. Um, Our goalie, Abby Weller, ah. is really hype. So when we're on the bus or going to a game, she's always the one getting everyone pumped up and, you know, her energy feeds off everyone else. So then everyone gets really ecstatic. Mm, love that. Shelby, it, it's a common question when athletes are coming back after injury of, of what you learned while you were sidelined. What was the biggest thing that you took away from watching your other teammates and, and maybe having the opportunity to kind of act as if a coach a little bit here and there? Yeah. Um, once because I've never really had like a huge injury in my life so once I tore my Achilles and was sidelined I think the perspective of you know not not just not even playing but knowing you're not going to get the chance to play so all you can do is like cheer on your teammates and watch the game I think you learn a lot about like just positioning wise and about um the mentality of others too Mm -hmm. I think um if you're not playing just like how you can encourage others and bring them up when, you know, on the field, maybe they're not doing the best or they need that little push. That's probably what I learned the most from like watching. Yeah. What are some of the goals that your team has for the season? Well, I think we want to do very well in the big East. Yes. Win the big East, Mm. honestly, if we can, but um, I think that just take every game at a time, you know, um, you only get so many in the Big East. So I think we prepared really hard for it. And we're going to do well. Shelby, thank you so much for joining us and good luck tonight. Thank you. Thank you.